Imagine if a large portion of the Earth's surface broke off and fell into the ocean, creating 100-foot-high waves that wiped out entire cities. Or if a supervolcano erupted, causing the global temperature to plummet and thrusting us into a new ice age. Or perhaps a deadly monster buried beneath the ice awakened, unleashing heat that destroyed every corner of the world. This isn't a science fiction story, but natural threats that could wipe out human life in an instant. Welcome to another episode of Science Matters. Today, we'll discuss four dormant natural disasters already present on Earth that have the potential to destroy the world. According to scientists, these natural disasters are confirmed to occur. But the question is, when? Let's begin with the Doomsday Glacier. Its actual name is the Thwaites Glacier. But why is it called the Doomsday Glacier? You'll find out shortly. We all know that sea levels are steadily rising, presenting new challenges for humanity. But how severe will these challenges be? And how much time do we have left? It all depends on this Doomsday Glacier. Located in West Antarctica, this glacier reaches depths of over one kilometer in several places, deeper than the height of the Burj Khalifa. Along with being incredibly deep, it stretches 120 kilometers, making it the widest glacier in the world, covering an area of 192,000 square kilometers. This glacier is so massive that it could fit 318 cities like Mumbai, or 50 cities like Karachi within its boundaries. Over the past several years, this glacier has been melting faster than any other in Antarctica, contributing to a 4% rise in global sea levels so far. But the most dangerous aspect is its location. The Thwaites Glacier is just a small part of the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, but its melting threatens to destabilize the entire sheet. This could cause sea levels to rise by 3 meters, or approximately 10 feet, in the coming years. The reason for this is that the Thwaites Glacier is located right in the middle of the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. Experts say the entire West Antarctic ice sheet's stability depends on this glacier. If its melting isn't stopped, it could submerge all of West Antarctica, causing coastal cities to be overtaken by the ocean. Cities at the highest risk include Mumbai, New York, Jakarta, Bangkok, and Dhaka. In this animation, you can see the Antarctic ice sheet which is quite thick in the middle due to centuries of snowfall accumulating over time. As it thickens in the center, the weight causes glaciers to flow outward toward the Antarctic Ocean. These outward-moving glaciers, with water beneath them, are called ice shelves. Global warming is heating both air and water, causing these ice shelves to melt at varying speeds. In East Antarctica, where the land is above sea level, water cannot reach the glaciers, so the ice melts slowly. However, West Antarctica is different. Much of its land lies below sea level, allowing water to flow underneath and further weaken the glaciers, accelerating their melting. This is why West Antarctica is considered the world's most critical ice region regarding climate change. To better understand this, look at a survey map of Antarctica's terrain. In the east, the land above sea level is shown in red and yellow, while in the west, the land below sea level is shown in blue. The darkest blue areas represent the lowest points, and this is where the Doomsday Glacier is located. Currently, this ice shelf is suspended above the water, but the ocean has hollowed it out from beneath. Every passing year, chunks of this glacier break off and mix into the ocean, while the water continues to erode it from below. 
Between 1992 and now, ocean water has hollowed out 14 kilometers of this glacier from underneath. If this pace continues, the entire glacier could soon collapse into the Antarctic Ocean. The Thwaites Glacier, which has already contributed 4% of the sea level rise in the last 30 years, could raise global sea levels by half a meter if it fully melts. This time may not be far off, as researchers have already discovered a massive crack in the glacier that cannot be stopped. The question is no longer whether the Thwaites Glacier will collapse, but when. As you've learned earlier, this could trigger a catastrophic chain reaction, causing the entire West Antarctic ice sheet to melt and raising sea levels by three meters. Coastal cities would have to be evacuated suddenly. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, over one billion people currently live in cities that would be affected. When these people migrate to higher ground, it will cause a global economic imbalance. Additionally, the world's climate will undergo rapid changes, with tsunamis, hurricanes, and floods becoming more frequent and severe. Now let's discuss the Yellowstone supervolcano. Located in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, USA, this is an active volcanic system and one of the world's largest and most dangerous supervolcanoes. Yellowstone is not just a small mountain that could erupt. It is a supervolcano filled with immense amounts of magma, molten rock. If it were to erupt, the consequences would not be limited to the United States but would lead to global devastation. Yellowstone sits within a massive caldera, approximately 70 kilometer long and 50 kilometer wide. This means it is a giant crater formed from ancient volcanic eruptions. Experts believe this supervolcano erupts every 600,000 to 700,000 years. The last eruption occurred around 640,000 years ago, with previous eruptions happening 1.3 million and 2.1 million years ago. Based on its past record, scientists estimate Yellowstone could erupt at any time within the next 60,000 years. If Yellowstone were to erupt, the effects would extend far beyond one country. The explosion would obliterate any city within a 1,000 kilometer radius. The eruption would release volcanic ash and gases like sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, causing drastic climate changes. The ash clouds would block sunlight for years, leading to a phenomenon called volcanic winter, drastically lowering Earth's temperatures. Crops would fail leading to global food shortages. Diseases would spread among survivors, and rain would turn acidic due to sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. Reports suggest that if Yellowstone erupted today, at least 70% of the world's population could be wiped out. Cumbre Vieja is a volcano located on La Palma, one of Spain's Canary Islands about 700 miles off the northwest coast of Africa. This island was formed 4 million years ago due to volcanic activity. Cumbre Vieja remains active and poses a significant threat to the world. Over the past 60 years, volcanic eruptions have caused a crack, visible even from Google Earth, to form on the island, about 6,000 feet above sea level. Scientists warn that a major eruption could cause a large portion of the island to collapse into the ocean. If this happens, approximately 500 billion tons of rock could slide into the sea at a speed of 250 kilometers h. This landslide would generate a massive displacement of water, creating a mega tsunami. Waves as high as 100 feet would travel across the ocean in all directions, reaching as far as Europe, America, and Africa. 
coastal cities would be devastated and the aftermath could bring global chaos. Since the landslide is inclined westward, the eastern coast of the U.S., including cities like Miami and Orlando, would likely face the most severe impact. If cities are not evacuated in time, the tsunami could claim millions of lives. Around 11% of Earth's surface is covered by permafrost, which refers to ground that remains frozen for at least two consecutive years. Permafrost is found mostly in polar regions, including half of Canada, two-thirds of Russia, and Tibet's plateau. For thousands of years, permafrost has acted as Earth's freezer, preserving organic material like plants and animals in an undecomposed state. However, due to global warming, the active layer of permafrost, the surface layer that freezes in winter and thaws in summer, is becoming deeper each year. Ancient organisms, preserved for millennia, are now surfacing. As permafrost melts, the organic material it contains starts to decompose, releasing greenhouse gases like methane and carbon dioxide. Scientists estimate that permafrost contains four times the amount of carbon currently in the atmosphere. As these gases are released, Earth's average temperature could rise by up to 8 degrees C, leading to catastrophic consequences. Glaciers would melt, fresh water supplies would be disrupted, sea levels could rise by 5 meters, and equatorial regions would become uninhabitable. Though many view permafrost melting as a future threat, the process has already begun. In Siberia, the Baragaika crater is a glaring example of permafrost melting and ground collapse. This crater is expanding every year, and if permafrost continues to melt at its current rate, up to 70% of it could disappear within the next 50 to 70 years. Even if we stopped using fossil fuels today, it would be impossible to halt the melting of permafrost. The destruction it could cause is inevitable. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the mysteries and realities of our world. Let us know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. What topic should we explore next?